number 108 from the Indicator series is Bronson's Breakout. I do love Charles Bronson. I just like the, the whole aesthetic, the movies that he's in. You kind of know what you're getting into. Again, this is one of the 15 movies, <laughs> it sounds crazy to even say that, that he co-starred with Jill Ireland, his wife. Uh, this one also stars Robert Duvall and we get Bronson as Nick, a kind of pilot who is willing to do whatever he can to make some money. We're introduced to Duval's character at the start, who gets locked up in a Mexican prison for something that he didn't do. We don't know why he was set up. It doesn't really seem particularly important. We get Jill Ireland as his wife, and together with uh, a lawyer and that, they decide to try and hire Bronson to break him out of jail and bring him back to the US uh, side uh, and make sure that he's safe and recovered from this. And it is a movie that is really inconsistent with its tone, but is ultimately really enjoyable. We get Duval who's doing a, a completely different movie from everybody else. He's almost like a Midnight Express type of guy. He's locked in uh, this prison. He's slowly deteriorating health-wise, psychological, as they just torture, beat and brutalise him. And then we get Bronson's Nick character, who seems to be any kind of a almost borderline comedy who keeps trying to break him out of jail but failing <laughs> it's just it's a really strange mishmash of characters you get this quasi love story between Ireland and Bronson's characters that literally makes very little sense in the grander scheme of things but it's incredibly fun there is uh, at least one unbelievably amazing shot in this movie that was just it's just so wonderful to see. It's a scene where there is a car, a helicopter and a plane all in tandem driving along at the same time and you just get this long shot of each of them. It's wonderful. It looks great. It's just this really nice artistic shot in the middle of this movie. You get this really weird presence on top of a hill as they are trying to fly in and, and escape the, the guy out multiple times. You get Randy Quaid in a small role and yes, just in case you have this question in your mind, they do dress him up in drag at one point to try and break him out, uh, to break out Duval's character from jail, which is just unbelievable because Randy Quaid, uh, just, you know, six foot something gigantic person uh, and amongst all these, these Mexican sort of women visiting their husbands just stands out by a country mile. It's silly. But this is what makes the movie so enjoyable this strange mix of tones that really do not gel together yet somehow work. Duval is doing great work um, and if this was a drama focusing on the destruction of a, a human spirit within a, a Mexican jail, wonderful. If this was a movie all about just a f constant failed attempts to try and break somebody out of jail that added a comedic spin to a movie, great. Mixing these two together shouldn't work somehow it does. I like the action, I like Bronson, I like his teamwork with uh, Randy Quaid's character. You can kind of tell that they're hustlers trying to make money and this is, just happens to be a payday and it becomes more of a, I'm going to get this done at some point. If I need to try a thousand times, I'm going to do it. Bronson is the typical stone-faced self. We get him to have uh, an antagonist at the end that he has to punch out. You get that strange, weird love story that never really amounts to anything. And, and the sort of filmography of Bronson is a weird one. Sticks out for being a little bit of an odd bod, but I liked it because of that. This is another great transfer on the Indicator series, um, a movie that just initially, just from the start, looks stunning, full of strange secondary characters. It's strange one-liners that just you know, they, they last with you, but they're very, <laughs> very strange. Um, and again, I'm not going to spoil these things for you because I think you need to discover them yourself. Great pickup, great movie. And I am really enjoying picking up all these Bronson movies I haven't seen before and just discovering the wonderful movies that they are. I'd recommend this one if you're a Bronson fan, if you're looking for something a little bit esoterical or a little bit something that's going to last with you. This may not be for you, but if you're looking for 70s Bronson action, that's a kind of throwaway movie, 
Breakout is the movie for you. I'd love to know your thoughts if you've seen it in the comment box below. And I'll see you next time on Man V Film.